Well, a one-act comedy opera show is making its way to Bemidji State University. The seventh annual opera production was written by a French composer. Our reporter Malak Katab has more. The cast of Dr. Miracle are gearing up to perform this weekend. I'm feeling good. I'm excited. Ready to get the show on the road. The one-act play consists of four cast members and takes place in Italy during the 1800s. The play centers around a family who wake up one morning to a loud noise from a traveling doctor. This is the seventh opera theater production that BSU has put together. Perfect. People can expect uh, an hour of hilarious comedy, some great orchestral writing done by one of the best opera composers that ever lived, and students just at the beginnings of their careers and the end of their educational process, sometimes freshmen but, but sometimes seniors as well, uh, getting to put their talents to use and, and share them with us on stage. The opera Dr. Miracle is originally written in French by French composer Bizet, who was 18 at the time. BCU students have told me that they have been practicing for the opera production show Dr. Miracle for the past three months. And then now we've moved on to our production week, so we're um, working on costuming, working with the orchestra, with the pit, um, and make sure everything runs smoothly for our productions. Ren Barger says that BSU has been putting on production since he started teaching at the university. He describes opera as an art form that encompasses light, staging, costumes, and music. During this production of Dr. Miracle, the audience can experience a traditional opera, one that Ren Barger says doesn't use any microphones. The difference between what we're, what we're doing here and what some people may experience uh, in a lot of popular culture is the 400-year-old tra tradition of opera. No microphones, no electronic amplification, just music, uh, human beings, and raw instruments. Reporting in Bemidji, Malak Katab, Lakeland News. The hour-long performance will be shown at the Bangsburg Fine Arts Complex at Bemidji State on March 2nd at 7.30 at night and March 3rd at 2 in the afternoon. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.